music and stuff, but now it's all, uh, it's all being done with my brain. If y'all can see the cursor moving around the screen, that's, that's all me, y'all. Um, it's pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay, so this is an example of Nolan Arbaugh prime patient number one with the Neuralink brain chip. And he's explaining that by imagining moving a mouse pointer or by imagining grasping a chess piece on a computer monitor, he's able to, having trained the monitor to respond correctly, having trained his computer to respond correctly, he's able to move a chess piece. The idea is that you should also be able to touch a touch screen and move these various servo motors. Continuous servo is the green one. There are two of them. The gray ones are positional servos. They each have three wires. They plug into this bank of pins And I've got a program, I'll show it to you, and I'll put a link to this program in the video so that you can um, download it to your micro bit. It'll automatically, as soon as you click on the link, it will install the program in your, um, in your browser, and then you can download it to a micro bit. This is the version two. And what we're showing is that we can operate up to eight servos, and we can operate four wheel motors in what I'm calling a tabletop carrier to practice training the computer. Firing neurons in your brain, imagining something's happening, imagining you're touching um, one of these keys in your, and then the computer learns that when it receives a certain signal, it responds by sending a signal to the micro bit by Bluetooth. Here's the newest patient in Canada. There are several different uh, BCI, Brain to Computer Interface Systems, but this is an example of the Neuralink. Robotic arms and even other devices, just by thinking. The device is designed to record from neurons in the brain. Um, and we are able to record from these neurons, analyze the signals from these neurons, and then transmit that through Bluetooth, through the air to receiver, which can then analyze those signals and decode them and translate them into actions. The surgery. That's gonna take some training. It's gonna take some training by the patient with the chip, the brain to computer interface chip to train their computer to respond appropriately to the signals they receive. And here's an example of using a small motor, very safe, very cheap tabletop motor to, to train that computer by the patient practicing sending signals, practicing touching a screen, a virtually touching a screen by imagining touching a screen, just like Nolan was doing on his, moving his chess pieces imagining moving them and then the computer learns what neuron signals correspond to what bluetooth signals sent to the micro bit that's the theory and in so doing we can actually have a useful functional tabletop carrier to move something like a container across the tabletop so there's going to be a lot more to learn about this. This is just one example. It's a prototype or a proof of concept. Very inexpensive using Lego Technics compatible pieces, the micro bit, the super bit expansion board. And I'll put the code right here. This code link, you'll see that this can be written. Sorry. 
you'll see that this can be written in text. You can do this coding in text, both, both JavaScript and in Python versions of those. I'm just showing it to you in block coding where we can move these various instructions around, download by USB cable, and then download to the microbit. So we will continue to study this.